So despite the blue air force wreaking havoc amongst the red lines, the red army manages to break through and now it is just a matter of time until they reach the blue airfield. The blues on the other hand have set up a series of defences from which they plan to stop this advancing red army. They have trenches along the front of the airfield, they have laced the tree lines with C4 and landmines, they have artillery set up to break the enemy's infantry and machine gun positions dug out to protect their flanks. If the red army manages to take this airfield all would be lost for the eastern armies of Blutania as the reds and the greys would gain air superiority and be in the reach of the whole of the east. So here we are on the battlefield and this battle has been a long time coming as this will be the last battle for Eastern Blutania if the Blues are to lose. So anyway the Blues have a lot of dug in positions as you saw from the start of the video. We currently have around 5 platoons guarding the way into the airfield and the Reds are going to be commencing their attack any moment. So over here is the entrance, this is going to be a main area to protect so the Blues have rigged these silos to explode on the touch of a button and what is happening over here the Reds are launching a ton of missiles over at the Blue Defences. This could be really bad. We do have some anti-aircraft for the Blues as well, just in case of any surprise attacks. We also have some C4 in the tree line that we can detonate, but I'm going to wait until the Reds get a little bit closer before we do detonate it, because I feel like detonating the C4 at this point in time will be very ineffective, because the Reds don't have that many men brought forward yet. So. Anyway, the Reds are going to be bringing their whole army forward in this battle. We're going to be seeing some T-34s. We're going to be seeing some heavy tanks, which we can see at the back there, which they've decided to hold back in the tree line, which is a pretty smart move. We're going to be seeing hundreds, perhaps even thousands of Red infantry trying to storm this airfield and also storm these trenches. The Blues have really got it coming in this video, so be sure to hit that like button for me. As this map took me two days to make, I have no idea when I'm going to drop it, it's either going to be on the, well what day is it, it'll either be dropped on the Monday I believe, oh no no, the Friday should I say, or it might be dropped on the Saturday, I'm not sure yet, we will see, but uh, this map took me absolutely ages, and also the mission, I've been trying to really work on my scripting for you guys lately, and make my videos a lot more interesting, as um, I've been getting quite a lot of feedback, a lot of it positive, but also a lot of constructive criticism, so just know that I am going to try my best to make my videos more interesting for you guys, so be sure to stick around until the end, as there are a lot of plot twists and there are a lot of things scripted to happen during this battle. So the Reds are now in the tree line, I think it's about time we detonated the C4, so let's go to the position where they're going to detonate it from, which is this bunker right here. And now we're going to overlook the position, so let's get the button, so this is detonate C4, and this is detonate silo, so we're going to do the C4 first, so let's have a look. So, here goes nothing. Look in the distance, oh, we just detonated it. Let's pause it really quick and see what happened. So, I think we did quite a lot of damage right there, look. You can see that we blew a lot of boys to bits, look. Look at all those dead reds, no! But I don't think we did too much damage, as the reds are still bringing their infantry forward. At least we've got a clear sight of view now for the blues, but then again it also gives the reds a clear sight as well to attack with their tanks now because from previous videos you can see that tanks do not get on with trees. And in this case they're not that many trees anymore because we've blown them all away. So like I say the entrance is also a rig to explode just in case something bad happens. But um, at the moment the blues look to be holding their own. They've got a lot of men. We've got, uh, what guns do we have? We've got the M14, we've got the FN Fowl, we've got the M16 as well. But the Reds are going to be coming in with a lot of RK47s to match the M16. Which is pretty bad really because those guns are very equal. One shot kill from any distance as well. What would you be thinking if you was this squad of blues right here? Would you be thinking, hold your ground, protect your blue families? Or would you be thinking, I don't want to be here anymore, I want to go home. You can see that this is just a little bit like World War One. look. If they peek their head over there, look, they're, they're more than likely going to get shot. These guys are lucky because they've got a rock right there as cover. It looks to me like we've nearly lost the full first line of defence. We've got two men holding the whole line over here. How are we doing on the bunker, which is protecting our flanks? The bunker's doing okay. 
I've got three machine guns in this thing. I've got a lot of men in there as well. That's one, two, three, four, five men in one bunker. Hopefully the patterns will be able to hold the reds just for that little bit of time to uh, reload our artillery and shoot it. Because the artillery doesn't reload that fast. It reloads quite moderately really. Look at the size of the round and look at the size of the artillery as well. It's huge. But, um, it's, it's insane. I'm, I'm really enjoying all of the new assets that uh, my team's been helping me out with. So a big shout out to Gunther, Mythic, Val and Parga and everyone. Yeah. I'm really enjoying these uh, new assets. And look at the amount of reds. We've got so many reds moving forward. They're like, hoorah, for the motherland. If they get any closer, we're going to blow those silos. How are we doing at the back here? The red artillery has started taking out some of the positions over here. We've lost this barracks. And we've also lost a couple of these air aircraft hangars. If that's what we want to call them. They're a bit small for aircraft, I guess. Maybe those typhoons over there can hold their like fold their wings or something. Maybe that's how they get in the hangars. Oh, what's going on over here? So apparently the Greys are attacking with some gliders. Where did these come from? So this is the surprise. We've got Grey troops moving in on the airfield now. What is General Bluton thinking? What is he thinking? He's like, what is going on? This is not what I planned. And what is that glider doing? We might have to give them a little helping hand to get them out of there. So see if we can get them out. The patterns are doing alright though. They're holding off the whole red army look. How are we doing on the right? The T-34s have stopped. Which is a shame because I was hoping they'd move that close we could detonate these silos. But we're going to leave those as the trigger is way back here. And the trigger is controlled by Mr. Bluton over here. General Bluton. The commander-in-chief of all the blue forces. We've got another grey glider moving in. These must be from the Von Grainikens. The Von Grainikens have been planning on coming in to capture General Bluton. I think they've done it at a time, though, where uh, the Reds have been attacking. So good timing on the greys, really. A good outflanking manoeuvre. These guys will be fresh from Growl. Growl is the... Oh, God, don't crash into the plane. Well, I suppose it took out a plane, didn't it? Does this have any men in? Oh, it jumped. That's weird. How are we doing over here? Got more planes moving in and a lot more greys moving in as well. These must have landed outside of the thing. I wonder how many men this is. This is a lot of troops. That's awesome. We actually landed one. Let's see if we've got to get the troops out of here. A successful landing look, everybody. God, the blues are not going to like this because they look pretty overwhelmed. And the reds are still moving a lot of men forward as well. I think that's pretty much all of the Reds. That is literally the whole of the Red Army. If they can stop them on this second line with these patterns, then they might be able to just stop the Red Army from advancing through this airfield. The Greys are now moving up to the Blues, look. Oh, good shot from that rocket launcher right there. I wonder if we can retarget using these uh, artillery. Target the airfield if we can. Then we're going to leave these two aiming on the reds because they seem to be slowing them down a lot. Another thing as well, let's see if we can get one of these planes in the air if we can. If we can use the machine guns on them to slow them down. But we need a trained pilot, we're going to ask these guys. We're like, okay, any of you use trained pilots? It's like, I used to be in the blue air force, sir. Okay, so you, come on. We're going to see if we can get this guy in a plane, take him off, and support the the other soldiers. What is going on with these greys? Why are they here? And that is good timing for the gliders. Perfect timing if anything. The anti-aircraft guns did do a good job but because they're gliders they didn't do much damage. They don't kill the soldiers on impact if you're in a glider. Go and take that plane off. See if we can actually take him off. So this blue here would have been an ex-pilot, turned veteran. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. That's an animation. So let's try out one of these fighter planes. Oh, a bit of a dodgy takeoff right there. Never mind. Oh, get up, get up. No. Oh, no, we got shot down straight away. It's kamikaze into two trees. That was unfortunate for that guy. 
We've still got some trench lines back here. They are holding the line really well. Really proud of these blues. Let's go have a look at their names. Let's have a look at some of the names. We've got one. Harry King. So this is a Lieutenant King or something like that. Or would he be a captain? No, he'd be a sergeant, wouldn't he? That'd be Sergeant King. He'd be in charge of this squad. Because it's a sergeant that's in charge of a squad, right? Then it's a lieutenant in charge of a platoon. Then it's a captain in charge of a company. And then it's... Uh... Oh, God, what's going on over here? Oh, they're doing that glitch again. Uh, let's just fix that. There we go. How are we doing over here? General Bluetooth is still okay, I think. Yep. Mr. Bluetooth's like, they're not taking us today. The Greys are moving up, though. Wait for them to get a little bit closer. Grenade out. Can we blow up these silos yet? There's no one around them. Do you know what? I think we're just going to blow them up for the hell of it. Maybe it will act as a distraction, so let's blow these silos up. There we go. If there was any soldiers around there, it would have been really, really good for the Blues. But no, nobody actually came this way. Which was really weird, because in the test round, they all came this way. It just goes to show you how random Men of War is. This pattern is actually defeated near enough the whole Red Army. Amazing. Strange. Nobody told us about it. Right, let's see if we can actually take this hill. I'm going to order these greys to go and take the hill. I wonder if they'll be able to do it. Whoa, did they just hit mines or something? So for those of you guys that don't know, these greys would be under the command of one Von Greineken. And General Von Greineken will be a lord from the Kingdom of Graal. Well, the Empire of Graal. And he is loyal to the Kaiser, and he was actually invented by one of my Patreons. And it was his idea to bring them in by gliders to try and capture General Bluton alive, so I wonder if they'll be able to do it. Judging by the looks of things, the Blues are actually winning this battle, because the Reds have run out of men. I think the Blues still have a pattern left, which is really good. They've lost all of their men, though. I mean, poor old Sergeant King. Oh, he's still alive. Sergeant King is still kicking it. That's kind of good. Cool right there. There we go. Let's see if we can actually see a capturing of the... Oh, what's he doing? No, he's just blew up the artillery. Got the uh, general's bodyguards right here. Four of them. We've still got four men over there as well. Should we just rush them? I think we should just rush them. Right, are you ready? Rush the bodyguards. You can do this. Let's see if they can actually capture General Bluton. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, they've done it. They actually did it. Oh, General Bluton has surrendered. No. It's like, I will secure you. We're going to take you back. And we are going to feed you to the Alliance. I don't know why I'm speaking like that. But yep, yeah, this looks like they have captured General Bluton. They're going to be taking him back to the HQ. And from the looks of things as well, I don't know who's won this battle. This looks to be a bit of a stalemate yet again. Why do all my battles turn out to be stalemates? No, it's not. We've got soldiers at the back here. They just need to take out this pattern now. Let's see if they can take it out. We're just going to set everyone on the pattern. We've got a uh, soldier right here though. I don't think he's going to let anyone near it. Let's see if we can protect it. Oh, we've got some men over there as well. This pattern is ace. How many soldiers has it killed? We've got 74 kills and 3 tanks. Or is that... No, is that a 1 in front of that? That's 175 kills and 3 tanks. That has got to be a new record in Army Men of War. If that's the case, then we need to name this tank. Name this tank. What number is it? This is number 240. Tank 240. What a legend. So anyway, so the Greys are now going to take back... Oh no, where are they gone? Oh, okay, they're over here. So yep, yeah. the Greys and the Reds are now going to take back General Bluton for interrogation. 
They're going to try and get him back behind enemy lines, which I don't think will be too hard because there's nobody left alive. This pattern is going to remain a hero, and he is going to be um, remaining in his, this position, I guess, and holding the line for as long as possible. We're going to write stories. There's going to be a legend written about this exact pattern right here. Number 240. So anyway, I'm Mighty Mapper 123 I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, be sure to smash that like button and also drop a bomb on that subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next one.